And Pisacha is evolving! Pisacha has got another evolution! I didn't know that was a thing! It's... Oh, I don't know, but it looks fucking awesome! Your Pisacha evolved into... Oh my god, we've got a... Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon Snake World Let's Play. And we're on part 6 and we're stuck in this ship thing. I think it's a ship. Well, okay, we went into Slateport Harbour, we fell down a hole. We ended up in a submarine that was abandoned. And they said they could get it running again if we got to the engine room and cleared out the nasty Pokemon in there. So, that's what we're currently trying to achieve. We're trying to get to the engine room to clear out the Pokemon in it. Now, we can surf on here, though, and there's Magnemite in here. Uh, well, let's throw a ball and see what happens. I'd quite like a Magnemite. Thunder Shrub's going to kill our Gyarados, so... Okay. As you can see, our team is not looking very healthy right now. It's been a while since we've been through anywhere where I can get a heal, um, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, is there anything... We've surfed all the way down here. Is there anything worth coming down here for? Wait, I just saw a... If that's a backpack over there... Oh, get out of there quick. If that's going to heal us, then it was worth it. Medical kit! Yes! Everyone is back to full health. That's what I'm talking about. Thank goodness we uh, decided to explore. Ooh, we took the art like spanner, which looks like just the thing we could fix the engine with. Obtain the spanner. Nicely done. There's some dive balls here. Yeah, we'll have them as well. Nice one. Oh, look at that. All that for exploring. That's what you get for being inquisitive. Now, let's find out where we go next. I've seen the door over here, uh, which looks like the right kind of thing. There it is. Look. Hang on now. Okay. Oh, and we've got a PC here as well. Uh, I don't think we're going to make any changes, really. I'm going to switch egg Ectoplasm up front, though, um, because I want to get it some experience. I want it to evolve again. So these are more more computers. I feel like one of them might actually be logged in one of these days, and they might, we might be able to do something on it. But no, fair enough. It's a uh, Pokeball there, though. Seriously, you'd be taking that. Be honest, you'd be taking that. Right, what is this thing? This Pokeball dispenser might be coaxed into operation with a whack from the arc light spanner. Whack it, yes. Clang! Some balls fell out. Obtain the Pokeball. Nice one. Put the Pokeball in the ball pocket. Can I just keep hitting it and keep giving Pokeballs? Yeah! Look at that! Yeah, okay, that'll do. Plenty of free Pokeballs there. Nice one. That's a bed. Can I use that to rest in? Yeah, I can. Okay, so I've got somewhere else I can heal up. So I guess that's good. However, that hasn't actually helped me get any further with where I want to be. Right, it's cool that I've got my... This bit's not broken. This part is clearly broken and not has come loose. Use the spanner. Yes. Okay, so this is the engine that we need to fix. The engine started working. Now I have to find a way out of here. Okay. Whoa, there's a person there. Where the fuck did he come from? Uh, what? Usher. Oh, it's Usher. Oh, thanks for fixing the engine. I came down here to look for the engineer, but I couldn't find him. I haven't seen anyone about lately. Uh, yeah. As a token of my thanks, I'll drop you off on Route 110. Come with me, and you'll be... Usher's voice echoes down from beneath the waves. Sorry, the teleport is a little jumpy. I'll see you around sometime. Submarine is moving away. Okay. So, we are actually... Oh, there's a Porygon there. That's very interesting. We're actually not on Route 110, are we? We're next to Cycling Road, but are we on the south side of Cycling Road? Oh, yeah, we are. Alright team, move out. Yes, sir. 
What was that? Something like a military band. Well, that theme song was decidedly evil. Perhaps I ought to investigate. Yeah, we probably will investigate. After I've done two things. The first one... Go and see if there's a Pokemon Center here. Because I'm not fully healed right now, and I would like to be. Or at least someone that will heal us up. The bed there, I'll do. No. Pokemon Fan Club. Ooh. There is no one. However, there is an item. Killing Horn. Okay, let's see what Killing Horn is for. A hold item that calms spirits and fosters friendship. Okay. The Mart. That, yeah, we definitely do need to use the Mart, actually. Um, but I'm more interested in a Pokemon Center, I'm going to be honest. Now... Survivors are clustered here in the market because these monster chefs can't stand food. <laughs> nice. What? No, I'm not stealing from the supplies. You are, aren't you? The food is running out. I'm so hungry. I need a powerful Pokemon so I can get out of this city. I have a face leech. If you have a face leech, would you like to trade? I can give you a Munchlax in exchange. I don't have a face leech, but if I did, I would. The energy guru. Kinder egg. <laughs> Magic stars. Wine gums. Star mix. White rabbit. Like it. I'm done, thanks. The food holds the chef back, but we have to eat the food. Don't know how much longer we can hold out. So nobody here is going to give me anything useful. I th that leechy girl, I suppose, was good. Uh, oh, it's a nickname rater. That means I can change Gyarados' nickname. No. Fuck you. I don't want a new nickname for Gyarados. You son of a bitch. Okay, so. Into the mart. There's nobody in here. Okay, so we're not buying anything from the mart. Great. Let's try the museum. No, I wasn't the right. That was right. Oh, I love the relaxing museum music in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, keeping us all nice and chill. So the museum's empty. What we've learned there. Oh, and I can destroy this box, I remember. Yes. Haha, -ha, because I got the art oh, light spanner. Haha. -ha. Which means I can go back in here. Haha. -ha. And this time not jump down the hole. This time we'll go up instead. Let's see if anyone's up here. They're not. Flipping heck. Computer's got anything for us now? Well, I was useless coming back there then, wasn't it? But that's okay, because we can break our way out again. And head back north. And now we can find out what the hell's going off with this Porygon. Um, I have a feeling it's not really a Porygon. It's just what I feel, but I could be wrong. So let's say hello to it. This Porygon is clearly lost. It is a Porygon. Better leave it here, as it probably belongs to someone in Slateport. So now do I go to Slateport and try and find whose Porygon that is and hope that I get a reward? Because that's definitely a little hint of the hint. A corp oh yeah, that's a corpse, I remember, yeah. There was a chef inside that corpse. I talked to everybody on the market. I, th I thought I talked to everyone on the beach as well. And... Right him. No, he's not interested in there. Not interested in getting himself a Porygon. I mean, can't I just have it? Can't I just take it with me? I thought I'd spoke to everyone around the market, but now I'm doubting myself. Like, it could be... I could have been wrong about that. Just have a quick... Quick just check, see if anyone's like, Oh! I've lost the Podigon! Who oh, no! Where's my Podigon? Gone. No. Oh yeah, that's the Energy Guru, I remember you. Well, yeah, this is, this is a little bit strange. But, nonetheless, it is time to continue the path. Uh, probably shouldn't walk on this road after all, it's for cyclists. Yeah, but... I'm a rebel, and who's going to stop you? 
Ah, there's a Pokemon Center here instead of the Trick House. Useful. Hello and welcome to Pokemon Center. Here you are, Blender. Sick. If Pokemon Center was only just built when the chefs and zombies arrived here, yeah, I hate to think what it would have done without it. Yeah, me too. Wish I could go home. I want to see if my parents are still alive. They're definitely dead. Sorry to break it to you. And, I mean, we can't really trade people because uh, it's a zombie apocalypse and nobody's alive. Okay, so. Whoa, I got in a battle. No, you have to stay here. It's for your own good. Oh, it's another one of those do-gooders trying to stop me going and taking on the world. Survivor Rocket has got himself a Meditite. That's a pretty cool Pokemon to have, Survivor Rocket. Uh, however... Gyarados is going to body you. With a Surf! And then a uh, Draco Fury, just to finish you off. It protected itself once, but we got it done, so... Now he's got a Wizmer. Uh, yeah, Surf again. Look at that. Okay, thanks for that. I kind of want to see what's this way as well. I'm torn. I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm cold and I'm shaved like naked on the floor. I wish I mean, I don't know whether to come down here. Okay. Reduct, reduce. I don't know what that is. We're going to have to go and save that guy down there who looks like he's getting absolutely brutalised. Prevent stat reduction when used in battle. Well, I will go and save that guy as soon as I've uh, got these berries. Because who knows, the berries might help me save him. And also, I think we're going to have to get past this chef. Um... We'll let him run up to us because they run quite fast. Kia! <laughs> this guy's angry. Oh, he's very angry. Former chef Akagi would like to battle. That goes in with Munchlax. All these chefs have got Munchlaxes. Pisacha comes out. Right. I think. You know what? I think we can just grind bites on this thing. Let's do use a Gato, yeah, but. There we go, it's not doing anything to harm us. And it's got a Curlier as well. This is very, uh, all the chefs have got the same Pokemon. Rock two, come on, hit. There we go. One more of those. Oh no, we're gonna have to hit it again. Ooh, Psychic leaves on one. We hit it with confusion though. Ooh, that was tight. And the chef is toast. And get healed up and get straight back into the battle with these guys. Can I just walk around him? Oh, look at that. Now, no, I'm, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. Ah, help me! Certainly, sir. Zombie duo Tim and Tina would like to battle, and they have sent in Shrivel Saw and Charmy Worm. Dude, they are the best, best sprites ever. So good. Okay, so let's put an egg bomb on you and we'll bite after that. Wow, Fire Punch is going to destroy Ectoplasm and it's also going to destroy Revenant when he does it next turn as well. Intimidate works though. Bite's fine. We go for Surf, that's going to hit everyone. Super effective on Charmy Worm. Now goes for Metal Claw. Oh, that's going to hurt Rev. Yeah, he's alright though. Attack Riser, Shrivel Story is fine with as well. That's not going to do so badly. Revenant's still storing energy. So, let's go for the bite on this guy to finish him off. Revenant gets 24. And Revenant is also going to be able to unleash its energy. Electabugs! Look at that thing. That's a new one, I like him. Unleash his energy. And Shrivel Sword. Oh, it doesn't actually do that much. Did quite a bit, I suppose. Right, we'll surf again. And then try Nature Power. Map Punch. Ah, oh, dear. Surf doesn't do too bad. Okay against Electro Buzz. Nature Power turns into Swift, which hits both of them. Fine Whip I thought was gonna, would be super effective, but it's not. 
Oh, because it's part flying pot. Um, water. I suppose it negates it. Uh, let's nature power again, because that hits both of them. Mac punch. If that was on Revenant, that was going to kill, but it doesn't. He puts it onto Gyarados instead. And Shrivel Saw is down. So, who comes out in his place? We've got I I, which is Jinx. Swift going to hit both of them. Not too bad, not too bad. The Leech Seed's still up on Gyarados. Okay. Well, we stay in with Gyarados and go for a Surf. I'm thinking we swap out Revenant now. What have we got out there? Marley should be alright. Depending what moves I I's got. It's going to be okay against Selectables. Lovely Kiss puts Gyarados to sleep, so he's not going to get his Surf off. Thunder Wave fails. And we're going again now. So we'll go for the Surf, just see if it can hit. As for Marley, let's do the Rock 2 and see how that goes. Mac Punch on Marley. Not very effective. Ice Punch on Marley. Oh, that's a killer. Well, there we go. So, Fire Tai Hong. And now we work out where to go from here. If he wakes up and hits that, that will finish him off. And then we can try a slam on Ai Ai as well. Oh, that pound. Look at that. They're doing a lot of damage. So, Ai Ai gets paralysis. We could finish Electables here. Oh, nicely done. Now, Gyarados is going to go down this turn, probably. But I think we'll keep him out and just see whether he can keep going or not. And then we'll slam as well. Maxi Potion, damn it. But the slam's good. Bring his health back down a bit more. Draco Fury as well. Ooh, very close. This time the lovely kid goes for Fire Tai Hong. So now Pikachu's asleep. Gyarados is going to die this turn from the leech. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is okay. This isn't bad. Next we go with Pisacha. I say it's not bad, but this has been one of the, one of the harder battles. Trainer battles so far. So we three Tai Hong asleep. Let's bite... Electabugs just to get him away. Uh, and then we'll Thundershock, aye aye. Electabugs uses a super potion as well, that's frustrating. Yeah, we're just grinding moves now. Well, there goes aye aye, at least that's over. Pisacha gets level 26. Fitai Hong uses leftovers, gets his health up a little bit, okay. So now we can just bite and slam this guy, and hopefully that's going to put us close to finishing it off. Pound nearly just feet I Hong, but he hits the static, makes Electabugs unable to move, and we get the slam off. Pisacha gets the bite off. Ah, oh, he still survives, and now Pisacha is paralyzed. Uses the leftovers. That's some some um Oh what do you call it when something makes up for something? I don't know. Redemption or some shit. So Electabugs doesn't move, that's good, because it means that this slam is gonna finish him off. Thank goodness for that. That was a hell of a battle, let me tell you. And those kids are dead. And Pisacha is evolving! Pisacha has got another evolution! I didn't know that was a thing! Oh my god, what is it evolving into? It's... Oh, I don't know, but it looks fucking awesome. Your Pisacha evolved into Giga Wolf. Oh my god, we've got a Giga Wolf. Fucking welcome to the team, Giga Wolf. That's like the first thing I've actually had to change on the layout this episode, right? Well, welcome to the team, Giga Wolf. The zombies crumble into dust. Thanks, I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, you're that splendid trainer who defeated those zombies, yes. You're not going to give me something in return. Jesus. Right, let's go heal up. Um, then we keep going. That's where... Wait. 
Why am I... Oh, this is where if you surf east here... West here, sorry. You get back to the start, isn't it? But... Um, looks like they've purposely made it difficult to do that. Oh, no. You can go from the top up there. Oh, in fact, you can just walk across. Now, if I go down that waterfall, it's going to take me back to early, early, and I'm not going to be able to get back up here, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, wait, unless there's a path down here that comes out up here somewhere. That looks like it was for a second. But... Well, nope. Not fair enough. Right, well, let's, let's go surfing up here and see where this leads to. Nowhere. Can't get up there. Okay. I'm not going down that waterfall because I, I just think it's going to take me back to where we started and I really don't want that. Uh, where is the... Honestly, the map's in a different place every generation. I don't know where to look. It's just in the items in this zone, isn't it? No? I thought it was in the key items. Am I, am I going mad? Oh, did I not pick up a map? Oh, I guess I ain't got one. Fair enough. Right, so our Pokemon are fully healed. Yep, everyone's good to go. Let's keep moving and let's uh, see what Pokemon are on this route. I like that this route's now been turned into a little bit of a maze. Joe, dude, decent. Have a go at catching that thing. Let's try an egg bomb. Oh, egg bomb's decent. Rock throw's super effective, though. One more egg bomb. We grass whistle it. And then we'll start throwing. Not a dive ball, though. Just a Pokeball. We've got 30 Pokeballs. And we have a Geodude. Put that guy in the box. Could be useful. The longer a Geodude lives, the more it edge its edges are chipped and worn away, making it more rounded in appearance. However, this Pokemon's heart will remain hard, craggy, and rough always. Just like me. Giving it game to Geodude. No. Because I don't want to. Crit plus! I'm sure that's going to up critical hit ratio in battle. There's uh, another one of those trolls. Dude, that's definitely a troll. Wow, this is bad music. Inquisition Footman would like to battle. Goes in with a Hombone. These things have all got Hombones. Uh, however, my Pisacha, who is now a Giga Wolf, has got Bite and it's super effective against Hombone. So... Dude, that thing is cool looking. I'm going to read its Pokedex entry in a minute. If it's even got one. Next we've got Nosepass. Okay, so now we're going with Gyarados, who will be super effective against Nosepass. Surf him down. There goes that one. Next we've got another Nosepass, so we stay in. Surf again. There we are, nice and easy. Straightforward. An Inquisition Footman is defeated. And he's very confused about being defeated. Nothing else to say. What should I do? I ought to tell the boss I failed, but I don't want to face her wrath. Guess I'll just stay here. Yeah, that's probably for the best. So, let's get out of this path. Uh, which is one of the most annoying routes in this generation anyway. Never mind the addition of trees blocking the way. Oh, come on, just hit the bloody rock too, man. Run away. Let's put someone else out front for a bit. Because uh, he's starting to annoy me. Let's get Pisacha out there. And while we're at it, let's have a quick look at him. He's got Limber, which prevents paralysis. He's a pure dark type. Serious nature. Still got leftovers as his item. Let's have a look at his stats. 72... Ooh, his, attacks, his attack and special attack are very, very good, particularly his attack. Now, what moves has he got? Bite, Tackle, Halt. See, I need some more physical moves because I'm pretty sure that Bite, because it's dark, makes it special. Well, I could be wrong. I could really do with a decent physical move to put on this thing. Uh, still, seems like an absolute monster. So, 
I'm not getting upset about that. I've just seen the wings of what looked like a Charizard. Again, there. Is that the same one that's been following us around that was at the volcano as well? I have a feeling we will find out at some point why there are random Charizard type things. Oh, we've got a Rage Candy Bar um, following us around. Okay. At some point, it's going to become clear. Now, can I. S no, I can't do that. I can't. I can surf, but I can't surf and get around there. Uh, let's get away from that one. Oh, okay. So I have to battle this dude. That's fine. Hey, no one is going beyond this point. Says. Fucking who? It says Inquisition Footman. Who sends out Hombo. We're straight in with Pistachio, which is the best choice for Hombo anyway. And then we get Bite off. Bite script. That's a decent move, but leftovers helping me out a little bit there. Now he's got a Lunatone this time. So let's go in. Get some Gyarados out there again. Uh, I'm going to get the Surf off. Easy enough. And he's beaten! Girl, I need to tell the boss about this. And he's gonna go and tell his boss. Well, I'm sorry. It's another chef! Wait, these chefs are fucking mad. Look at that! Gross! Dude, I'm gonna. I mean, that guy. Those chefs are gonna have to come onto the. Uh, onto the thumbnail of this because I've seen so many of them these last few episodes. Keep biting. Yeah, just keep biting. Oh, god damn you with your left... Not leftovers, I forgot what it was called. Gatto, that's right. You used a Gatto. Level up. Mashima is about sending another Munchlax. This one's got two Munchlaxes. So that's the first time that's happened. Let's go for Free Tai Hon. Uh, Thunder Shock. Okay, let's go from the Wave. That's more like it, yeah. And then Ice Punch. No, Ice Punch's not that good either. Special Defense is getting up, that's why. So we'll keep slamming then, that's really good. Goes for Lick. Oh, that Lick's an absolute fucker. Alright, kills us because I carried on trying to grind even though we were paralysed. But that's okay because I can finish it off with a Pisacha. Gets level 27. Next we've got Curlier. He's staying. I'm Dark, you're Psychic. I'm super effective against you. And that's going to be an easy one. Next up, another Curlier. Again, straightforward. Mashima, key! He's really not very happy, is he? The chef fled. Good. Right, now. Let's... Ooh. Okay, what we can do is pick up these berries, because you never know what might be useful. I really want to catch one of them zombified Pokemon, but I feel like they're not in the wild. Which is really frustrating. Okay, we'll keep this guy out front because he's probably going to have a Munchlax again. Stop there, civilian. Oh, no, because it's not. It's a... Uh, it's going to have a Hombo, isn't it? The Inquisition is handling an outbreak of chefs up ahead. <laughs> what? You won't stop, then I will force you to turn back. I'll help you. The outbreak of chefs. Damn it, there are people cooking us food. Okay, it's not a Graveler. Uh, let's try a bite and see how much that does. Well, that's fine. Magnitude 10, though. Shit. Hold on to your hat, Pisacha. He did hold on to his hat. And it came through for him. Magnitude 7's going to finish him, though. But he did the majority of the work. Let's get Revenant out of there to finish it off. With some nature power. Stun Spore. That was stupid. Uh, cut, then. Okay, that was that was ridiculous. Should have just sent Gyarados out to use Surf. That's been the end of it. But never mind. Too busy trying to get everybody some experience. And Inquisition Footman goes down. That wasn't the expected result. It was the one I expected, though. Ghost got 5,600. Good to know. Go inform the boss. Off you trot. And we can keep on moving. And we're in Moorville. I like Moorville. Maybe this Mark's actually got some... It's a corpse. Here we go. Here we go with the corpse. Its head has been completely reversed and filled with the sand from the ears. There appears to be no reason for this. Who needs a reason to reverse someone's head, open it up and fill it with sand? A true Martin Pokemon employee never abandons her post. I agree. So, let's 
get some great balls because we're going to be running into more powerful Pokemon soon. Let's get some super potions. I'm thinking like 15. Oh, I've got 14, but that's alright. Uh, do we have. No, we've still not got full heals. So let's just have a couple of antidotes. Yeah. Uh, a couple of paralyzed heals. And a couple of awakenings. No, just you know, maybe three, yeah. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good to go. Keep exploring. We've got an item down here. Speed plus. Ah, bag's full. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm... I don't have much I want to get rid of in my bag, really. So I'll probably go to the Pokemon Center and chuck some things in the PC. Well, well, I thought you might make it this far, Ghost. Oh, Gleese, what are you doing here? Oh, Gleese! I'm watching a battle. Care to join me? Oh, we're going... Ooh! Chefs and Zombie Stick! It's those weird guys from before! Oh, so you've met them before. They're the Inquisition, part of the Hoenn government. Since the zombies came and the government was eaten, they are more or less in complete control of the region. It seems like no one's in control here. Even these guys are fighting for dominance. Oh, they're in control, all right. Take another look. Don't be shy. I've made us invisible. What's keeping you? Footman. Boss! Hombus, return! Return to the void, monsters! This area is clear. It's time to clear out another. Let's go. Yes, boss. You, minions, return to the base. Who was that? How did she... <laughs> what did she do for the zombies? That was Chloe. She's a Taoist, just like me. She has power over the undead monsters that have recently sprung up. Those two zombies that were following her were her personal slaves. So why did you make us invisible? Aren't you Taoists a close-knit secret group or something? Ah, oh, we are indeed! It's supposed to be. Well, Chloe has seized control of the Inquisition and they're currently hunting me. They believe me to be responsible for this zombie outbreak. Well, that isn't true. You sealed the rift. Hell, you're helping end the zombie plague. Try telling the Inquisition that. They don't believe it, but enough of that. I have a task for you. Go south from here, surf to New Morvile. Dantalion is waiting there to instruct you further. Okay, Gleese, but there's something I've meant to ask you. Have you seen the Pokemon Champion around at all? I believe you'll find further information in New Morvile. Take it from me, it's imperative that you go there. Good luck and farewell. So we're going to... I know, but can I use the Pokemon Center first? Ugh. No, I can't. So I guess we're going to New Mobile, ladies and gentlemen. Damn it. That's very frustrating. Well, let's get to New Mobile and uh, see what happens when we first get there. And then we may wrap it up from there. Whoa. I found a hidden woods. Is what I have done. Um... You know what? We're going to go in here first. Oh, no, we're not, because it's Inquisition territory, so we can't. I guess we'll be going there another time. Well, here's New Morvile, and here's Dantalion. Hello, Ghost. The Master said you would be coming. What exactly is this Gleese wants me to do? As you can see, the Inquisition is not exactly a positive influence on this region. The population of Morvile have all taken refuge here from them, the zombies and the chefs. So, they should be safe here, but they are not. This door is locked at all times and guarded. No one enters and no one exits. And yet someone has been murdered here. Yes, it's true. The Master was passing by and said he would look into it, but he's rather busy trying to undermine the Inquisition at the moment, which is why you're here. You will help find the culprit, of course. Of course, let's go. If it's murder, then there's no time to lose. Very well. Well, looks like we're, uh, we're going to do a murder mystery, and that is going to be coming up in part seven. So, make sure you come back for that. Help me find out who's killing people. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get out of here. Back to Morville. I'm guessing there's going to be a gym badge around somewhere because there's a gym up there. And um, we'll finally get up to the desert so we can get to where our brother was sighted last and hopefully find his whereabouts. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed yourself. If not, leave a comment telling me how shit it is. And uh, I'll make sure I read it and cry about it when I go to bed tonight. See you later.